Hi guys. So I'm just going to talk about a few things you can do first thing in the morning. So opening your eyes, grab a pillow, pop it under your heart, lay back and just take a few breaths. Maybe you'd like to place your hands on the tummy. Notice how you feel. Notice what your thoughts are. And if you don't like them, you can just work on shifting them into something more manageable. For instance, if you're feeling bummed about going to work, you might change the vocabulary to, I get to go to work, I get to make money every day in every way, I'm moving towards my dream job. And something like that. So, And if that's not working for you, you could start with what makes sense, what you are grateful for. Making this a gratitude practice you can be grateful for many things. And if you're having a hard time coming up with something, I always start with what's obvious, like my bed that I'm laying on and my house and the fact that it's quiet outside and I'm free and it's uh, protected pretty much area and I can feel safe here these kinds of thoughts just a couple of breaths and then when you're finished with that you might try to activate an inner smile and you can move the pillow or not just, and just pull the feet towards you and begin rotating the knees side to side a little Windshield wiper action is to get the hips a little bit less creaky before you actually get up. Ah, and sometimes a few nice big breaths, maybe even with noise. Ah, ah. Big yawn, stick the tongue out, straighten one leg, lift the other knee up into the chest this will stimulate your poop <laughs> so you can get it out before you have to go out of the house and you may have other ways that you think you're doing that like coffee this just helps a little bit it's also flushes new blood into the organs and take that knee just place the opposite arm opposite hand to the outside of it and guide it over to the opposite side so a little twist and if you want to look away from it if that doesn't feel right maybe you could just look up maybe you want to make a little rainbow in the air with your nose on an inhale I'll just bring it maybe you want to do a little circling with it maybe there's more work to do here and then take the heel um, push it up toward the ceiling and pull the toes towards your body since you won't be able to see my heel. Just a straight leg and really try to straighten it here. If you can reach it. If you can't reach it, that's okay. Just do your best. Just give it a couple of straightens, maybe even point flex and circle a couple times. And if you can make it up and reach it, this is a nice hamstring stretch. That could be too much for first thing in the morning, so no worries. Okay, and then take this leg. I'm going to lift the straight leg up. Take this foot, place it on the outside of that leg up above the knee. And then you can just hang out here. And this might feel great for you. You might like to lift it towards you. You might like to lace the fingers around and either under or on top and hold. Sometimes I like one hand on this knee, one hand on this knee. <sighs> nice breathing. <sighs> and then we'll do that whole thing on the other leg. So bring it in. Oops, wait a minute. <laughs> this is my other leg. I'm still in that gratitude practice. I'm feeling gratitude that I get to go make myself a nice cup of coffee and do work that I love today. Feeling gratitude for my animals that I get to go say hello to in a moment. We're gonna turn this into a twist. Ah. 
Sometimes I like to do a horse breath, get my face loosened up. Or sometimes a lion's breath, which is on the exhale, pulling the tongue out as far as it'll go and looking at the tip of your nose. And for some reason, I like to make mine really loud too. Feels more like a lion. So pulling this leg up, maybe a little circling, and then we're placing the heel up and out, away from the body, pointing and flexing a couple times, circling. And if you can lift it enough to reach it, find a hamstring stretch. If that doesn't work for you, that's okay. You can just play around and just move around like a little spider with your legs in the air. And we'll take that straight leg, lift it up, place the foot on the outside of that leg, and same stretch. Thread the needle, some people call it or some people say it's a milder version of the pigeon pose. It's not giving you all of it, just half of it. And then we let this go, and I like to grab both knees and just hug them in. And do what I call the roly-poly. When a roly-poly is scared or trying to move, it just pulls in and gets everything tightened up like a ball. So I'll just tighten everything up for a moment and love you, love myself. <sighs> and then big starburst, just reaching out, reaching up, reaching down, feeling your power, your strength, your aliveness, your vitality. And you're ready for your day. Hope you have a great day out there.